What's going on everybody? It's Game of Boxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Sentry using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, let's start off with the appearance. Now we're going to start off by getting the Hammer Head. Not Hammer Head as in the Spider-Man villain. The head of the character named Hammer, who is basically the Hydra version of Thor, pretty much. Now if we scroll down here, we should find it. There it is, nice. And then once you've done that, you want to go to Hair. And you want to find this hairstyle right here, which is called Long Male. And you want to choose this colour. And once you've done that, you want to go to body, and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, very bottom, and you want to choose yellow jackets. Now, there might be other torsos that could perhaps fit Sentry, but for me personally, the amount of times I've tried making this character, I think this is the best one to use. You know, you're not going to get it exactly right. We are trying to recreate Sentry. We can't make a carbon copy of the character with this character creator. So, I think, you know, I think it's good enough. I think it definitely gets the job done, you know. Alright, so once you've done that, you want to go to both arms, and you want to make them crystals. And for the hands, they are already the same skin tone but just make sure that is the same skin tone as his face then once you've done that you're gonna make the hips yellow no need for any decals or anything like that just this yellow right here and then for the legs you want to make them crystals as well which are these ones. Awesome. Now once you've done that, you're going to choose a cape. But here's the thing. In LEGO Marvel's Avengers, he has a weird colored cape. I don't actually know what color it is. It's like a very light blue, almost gray. It's very strange. And I was trying to get that exact color in this character creator. And I don't think it's there. You know, it still looks kind of off. I thought, is it maybe this or this or this? Like, they're all different colors. And I looked at how Sentry actually looks in the comics. And really, it's just a blue cape. And I think that looks much better anyway. So that's the one that I'm going to go with I think that looks really really cool now of course we can move on to the abilities so for the abilities that I gave Sentry I gave him techno access what else uh, mind control magic destroy cracked Lego walls we're also gonna go with super strength tracking and yeah that's pretty much it for the passive abilities now we can move on to the combat abilities so for combat I went with tap square for fighting and then for hold square, we're going to have a targeted lunge, so you can lunge towards people. And then with tap square, we're going to have bolts, bolt origin, both hands. You're going to use bolt style one. You're going to have bolt damage heat bolts, and you're going to make it gold, which looks very, very cool. Look at that. Awesome. And then for hold circle, you want beam, beam damage type as heat. You want to make it beam origin, both hands, beam style two. And you also want to make that gold. Very, very cool. And once you've done that, you want to make double tap X as flight. And you also want to have hyper jump as well. Because it's cool to be able to launch yourself into the air and fly. That's always awesome to see. Now onto the passive traits. So for the health icon, you can just choose whatever you want here, really. I mean, I guess we'll go with... We'll go with this one, maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, and then for the health type... Now... Obviously, I know Sentry is super powerful. He's a very powerful character, and he's almost invincible, but he's not, like, completely invincible from what I've heard. But I still think you should make him invincible in this because, you know, when you play a Sentry, you want to feel really powerful. And I think, you know, to make him feel different from other custom characters, you want to have that just so it makes you feel more like you're playing a Sentry, basically. So we are definitely going to go with uh, Invulnerable. For the voice, just choose any male voice. I'm just going to go voice one. Movement speed, I like to have default. I know he's, you know, he's fast, he can fly fast and stuff like that, but I just think sometimes the speed stir abilities look kind of weird, so I, I like to just have default. And then for the target reticle, just go with... Uh, you could go with either this, this, or this. I think we'll go with... Uh, I don't know. Which one should we go I, I think I'll just go with that one, because I like how it's, you know, he's got a blue cape, blue icon. Kind of makes sense. Alright, cool. So we've done the appearance, the abilities, the passive traits. We're obviously not going to give him any weapons. Now we just need to name him and choose a background image. So we're going to put Sentry. Sweet. Look at that. Awesome. And then for the background image, let's see here. What have we got? Uh... 
Yeah, we'll go with that one. Cool. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Sentry into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Sentry made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. He's kind of turning around already anyway, but still. There you go. Very, very cool. I'm happy with this design. I think, you know, the yellow jacket torso, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. I think it's good enough. And, you know, from the back, it definitely looks like Sentry, so it's pretty cool. So what can he do? Well, we gave him these abilities to just be able to punch things. We also allowed him to target and run towards stuff, which is pretty cool looking. And, of course, the cooler abilities are these ones right here. So he can shoot bolts like this. And he can also shoot a beam. Pretty cool. I think I've done a pretty good recreation of the character of how he plays in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, so I'm happy. And I like the uh, the hearts we chose. I think they, they kind of work. All right, so let's go fight some crime. Yeah. Nice. The hand. It must be the hand. Nope. Not sure who's behind oh. it this time, but there's more trouble on your doorstep. Hey, go come here. I'm going to beat you up. Whoa, you see that? That shows how strong Sentry is. He knocks you out in one hit. <laughs> nice. I wonder if we'll ever see Sentry in the MCU. That would be pretty sweet. I would love to see him in the movies at some point. He could be a pretty cool character in Phase 4. I mean, the way the MCU is going, anyone could be in these movies at some point. It's crazy. Very exciting. Alright, that was easy. And away! Nice. So, Sentry, like I said, you know, he was in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, and when I was trying to make this character, I obviously loaded up LEGO Marvel's Avengers to see, you know, how he played, so I could remember how he, you know, how his powers worked and stuff, how he looked to try and get the best recreation of his costume possible, and I noticed something I've never seen before in all my time playing LEGO Marvel's Avengers. I never noticed this. If you leave Sentry for a while, um... Something very strange happens like this thing comes. I think it's called the void or something in the comics The void comes out of him and uh, spooks him and it's got like big uh, iron spider kind of arms uh, On the back of it and it looks like a demon. It's really creepy I was like what the heck was that like I had to check again because I was like what what was that? Did Iron Spider just randomly appear? And I checked again, and it, and it was no. It was, I think it's the Void, I think you call it. And that was a really cool Easter egg, and it got me thinking. It's a real shame that in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, they didn't, like, make that Easter egg even cooler. Like, it would have been amazing if, uh, if he could maybe transform into the Void. I don't know a lot about Sentry, so if that's not something he can do, then fair enough. But uh, that sounds cool. I don't think they're going to be adding Sentry to any of these DLC packs that are coming out. I mean, who knows? Maybe Cloak and Dagger or Runaways. Maybe they've thrown in a few superheroes and villains that didn't make it into the game just for fun. But uh, I don't know if Sentry will be in them. If he is, great. That'd be cool. And it would be amazing if he could turn into the Void. Hey, maybe I should try and make the Void. I haven't actually tried that, to be honest. Oh, what? I didn't even hit him. Oh, well, I got that guy, at least, so that's cool. But yeah, go back to LEGO Marvel's Avengers and uh, wait a few seconds and he should start doing that animation. It's very creepy. Kind of sp spooks you when you first see it because you don't see it coming. That just goes to show how, uh, how big these LEGO games are. I mean, people think they're quite small and people think they're the same every time. But you come back to them and you still find new things. It's pretty cool. I'm sure we'll probably be doing the same with this one in like years to come, definitely. I think the LEGO games are just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, who knows what they're going to be like in like five years time. It's crazy. Wait, can we do a team up? Let's do a team up. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, that one. I don't like that one. Well, I do like it. It's all right. But like, would have been cool if they did like a, a laser beam ability or something. This guy is taking some hits, huh? Yep, he's blocking all my attacks there. That's not cool. Did you die already, please? This guy is getting on my nerves. Thank you, finally. Right, Sentry. Wait, hang on. Look how angry he looks. He's absolutely furious. Wow, why am I not in the MCU? Put me in the MCU, Feige. 
Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I think you're definitely going to start seeing really powerful characters in the MCU, though, moving forward. you got, like, Captain Marvel coming out soon, which I'm super excited about. Brie, Brie Larson's been, like, scouting locations or something at the moment for the movie, and it's just so cool seeing her do that for the movie, because it gets you so hyped for it. I think she's going to be amazing as Captain Marvel. I can't wait. So you got characters like her, Captain Marvel, and then, you know, I feel like you could start introducing others like Sentry and things like that. And I think, um... With Avengers Infinity War, everyone is done for, you know, with Thanos. Everyone is just... hear about any just, good tea rooms on your travels? They've got no... They've got... No, uh, I suppose not. This woman is interrupting me and it's making it hard to speak. Because uh, she's so loud. Um, you know, you've got uh, Infinity War and everyone's done for with Thanos. And then when Avengers 4 rolls around, I think... Thanos is done for, because Captain Marvel's apparently going to be in Avengers 4. Not Infinity War, but Avengers 4. Um, and when he meets her, he is definitely done for. I think she's going to be a great help to the team. She'll absolutely annihilate him. I can't wait to see them really show off her powers in the MCU, because obviously we all know she's an extremely powerful character. I always enjoyed Captain Marvel in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So it'd be great to see if they kind of take some ideas from that show. And I think we're going to see Marvel in her movie, which I'm very excited about. Can't wait to see Marvel on the big screen. That's going to look so cool. But yeah, a Sentry movie could be cool, because if there is this whole, you know, split personality with the Void and things, that would make for an interesting movie, definitely. You know, a hero that kind of has to keep in a dark side or something. Like, again, I don't know a lot about Sentry, I'm just kind of going off what I've seen, but, um, yeah, Sentry would make for a cool movie, definitely. Like I said, the way the MCU is going, anything could happen now. It's crazy what, what's happening in that world. Just anything is possible. It's insane. I think Infinity War and definitely Avengers 4 are really going to open up the box, if you know what I mean. Like, I think these movies have been crazy, you know, like Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, you know. Doctor Strange had lots of different realms and... Uh, and dimensions and things and Ant-Man had the quantum realm and uh, what else like Guardians of the Galaxy had that trippy scene with Rocket, Yondu and uh, and Kraglin in volume 2 so you know these movies have been weird and wonderful like they have been doing some crazy stuff but I think when Infinity War and Avengers 4 come out they're gonna really open it up and just show you like just basically explain that you haven't seen anything yet and you're gonna see some huge crazy set pieces which is very exciting, obviously. I think once those movies are out, Marvel will be able to do pretty much anything they want with their universe. I, I think Kevin Feige has said that we can expect to see a very different MCU by the time these movies are finished, and whatever that means. I mean, could it mean that Thanos is going to, like, not reboot as such, but kind of, like, restart the universe, if you know what I mean? Like, like a new MCU with, with like, uh, alternate versions of characters and stuff like that. Like, could be possible, you know? That just gets me so excited, though, because if that is going to happen, like, how is that going to affect so many heroes that are living? Like, let's say characters like Iron Man or Cap, one of them is bound to die. What happens to the heroes that live if there is, like, this alternate universe? Is Peter different? Does he wear a different suit? You know, is uh, Black Panther different? Is Captain Marvel different? Is, uh, is Doctor Strange different? There's just so many cool things you could do if Thanos does actually create an alternate Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's just my theory. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I think when he's got all those Infinity Stones, he'll be able to do whatever he wants. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about these movies. You, the thing is, you know, we don't want our heroes to die, but I'll kind of be rooting for Thanos because I just want to see what he's capable of doing, what his plan is. Once he gets all these stones, what's he going to do? Um, 
I mean, there's that line in the trailer where he's like, fun really isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. So I guess he's trying to maybe shape the universe in his image and how he wants it to be. And I think that's probably his plan um, once he gets all the Infinity Stones. Which comes back to what I was saying about maybe he wants to basically reboot the MCU and uh, create a new version in his image and what he wants. with my great 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 and fly great. let's go to uh what's it called atalan yeah let's go to atalan i love atalan i wonder what's gonna happen to the inhumans in the mcu now that i've been thinking about that for a while now because the inhumans tv show is apparently not going to get a second series and majority of people didn't like it anyway so that's understandable um whoa um but like I wonder what that means for the Inhumans and just the wider MCU. Does that mean maybe that the TV show is no longer canon? Like it never happened? Do we do we perhaps believe that? Or does it does something else happen like where Marvel make their own Inhumans movie at some point? I'm I mean, I thought that might be impossible and I, that was on the cards originally. Like it was originally supposed to be a movie and then they changed it into a TV show. But with the Fantastic Four and X-Men and stuff like that coming back, I don't know if they'll really want to use the Inhumans. I think I think maybe the Inhumans were like a substitute for the mutants because they couldn't use them. And now they have the mutants, they probably don't need the Inhumans. But I'd still like to see the Inhumans in the MCU, like in the movies and stuff. Like Black Bolt and things like that. They really need to be done justice. Um, I mean, I thought the actor that played Black Bolt in the show was cool. Um, but I really feel like they barely scratched the surface on that character and it would have been cooler to see him wear a proper costume and stuff like that but oh well what are you gonna do hey that's my job i'm supposed to shoot bolts like that take that whoa what's he doing uh oh hang on a sec i want to try something if we go to captain america could they do like a cool move where he shoots a beam at the shield or something let me try that no, 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 don't do anything. What just happened? What the heck just happened? That was very, very strange. Okay, this guy is getting on my nerves. Ah, nice. I got him. Awesome. Yeah, but we all know, like, the, the Fantastic Four uh, and the Inhumans. Like, they, they've... They're a big part of uh, the, the comics, you know, the Inhumans meeting the Fantastic Four. That's quite a uh, well-known thing in Marvel. So I wonder if maybe they could bring the Inhumans back in like a Fantastic Four movie. Not the first one, you know, let them have their own movie first. But maybe the Fantastic Four movie, one of the sequels, could be a way of introducing the Inhumans into the movies. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I feel like we're probably not going to see the mutants and stuff like that anytime soon anyway. Uh, and, I'd, that was close. and I'd probably say the same for the, uh, the Inhumans. But I do think one of the new movies that uh, Marvel Studios will make is Fantastic Four. I think they're dying to make a really good Fantastic Four movie. And I think once these, uh, you know, the Disney and Fox thing is all sorted out and it's good to go and it's finished, you know, it's all finalized, I think then they will make um, a Fantastic Four movie. Um, I think mutants, you know, with X-Men and things, that's going to take a little bit more time to work out. Um, you know, how do you introduce mutants into a world that's never had mutants? Like, do you make it a disease or something that uh, that starts changing people? Do you... Do you like, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know how they're going to do that. Infinity War, though, could be a great opportunity for them to say once Thanos does you know, recreate the the universe in his image, maybe in this new MCU, mutants do exist. But I think it's too late for that now that Infinity War's pretty much finished and comes out not it's not long. It's not long until it comes out now. So I think stuff like that is near impossible now, unfortunately. Maybe they didn't do it in Avengers 4. But I don't know, I don't think Marvel are going to try and uh, set up 
Fantastic Four and X-Men in these movies. I think they'll set them up in their own time, basically. But I think these uh, Avengers 4 and Infinity War are more or less culmination movies, and they're going to focus on uh, bringing together everything that's come before it and not try to set up new things, basically. But yeah, very exciting times. I can't wait to see what comes next. It just makes you wonder how Infinity War is going to end. Like, you just don't know what to expect. Anything could happen. Oh, you guys again? Let's see if I can take you out quicker this time. Yep, I took you both out that time. Nice. Wow, one hit from them and it actually wakes them up. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Whoa, you see that? That was cool. Hey, Cap, Sentry, team up. No, that's not a team up. I mean, it is, but it's not a good one. You know what to do. I keep forgetting that uh, Square Enix is making a, an Avengers game. I wonder if uh, if that game is gonna change at all. You know, thanks to these new the new rights and things. Like, will we maybe get X Men and Fantastic Four in that game and stuff like that? And will Sentry be in it? That'd be pretty cool. Like, I kind of hope that this Avengers game Square Enix is making has a lot of playable characters. You know, and I also really hope that Spider Man isn't like exclusive to Sony because of Spider-Man PS4, like, that could be I their exclusive version of Spider-Man, but don't make the I character exclusive to that system. I don't think that is going to happen, though, because he's in this game. Spider-Man is in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, which is on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So, I doubt that will be the case, but let's hope it just doesn't happen, because I think that would be silly. I think it would be stupid to make a character exclusive to one console. I understand making a game exclusive, to one console, but not a whole character so that whenever someone wants to use Spider-Man they have to make a PS4 game. I think that would be dumb. Because he's such a well-known and iconic character, everyone loves him. Whether you're a PS4, an Xbox One, or a PC player, or a Switch player even, you if you love Spider-Man, you want to be able to play as him, and you should be able to play as him. Not that Poseidon problem. But I'm just saying that about the character, like he should be playable in all Marvel games, but I get why Spider-Man PS4 is an exclusive, and I actually like that it is an exclusive because it allows them to really make it the best it can be. Instead of trying to port it to multiple consoles, they can just focus on making it for one. And it's just so cool to see a Spider-Man game being cared for with that much attention, you know, they're, they're really taking their time with that game, Insomniac, and that is just so exciting. I've always wanted a Spider-Man game with a long development cycle. I don't care how long it takes now, I just want it to be good. And I think it will be with how long they're working on it. Take as much time as you need, Insomniac. Every time we see it now, it looks better and better and better. And even when we don't see it, the devs say on Twitter how, you know, it's it's the, the web swinging and things is getting better and the open world is there's things to do in it and stuff I mean I can't wait until they show it again because I'm sure it's gonna look incredible great I think the next thing they should show though is the open world I really do feel like we need an open world uh, tour or something like maybe you can walk around just Peter Parker and Spider-Man in the city or something I've always wanted a Spider-Man game where I can like play as Peter Parker, hear a crime going on, run into an alleyway, change into my suit, go take out the crime, and then go back to the alleyway, put on my clothes as Peter Parker again, and then go and do whatever I was doing. Like, it would be so cool if you can do that in that game. Whether you can or not, though, remains to be seen, so we'll have to wait and see. And this one's a doozy. Think you can get to it? I just hope you can, because that would be incredible. I've always called that the alley feature. <laughs> Ever since the Tobey Maguire movies, I've always wanted a game to let me be able to do that, and hopefully this is the one that does it. Anyway, I think we'll take out these bad guys, we'll head back to Manhattan, and then we'll call it a day. Unless there's some more bad guys lying around, I don't know. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. Nah, not when I'm around. Oh, Sentries here. I'll tell you what, we'll quickly fly to 2099 and see if there's any trouble. Whoa, that was a bad fly! That was really bad, like, takeoff. Okay, let me try that again. Ooh! 
That would have hurt. <laughs> he's like jumps into the air and smacks himself in the face in a wall. Ouch. Not good. Not good. Okay, 2099. Got anything good for me? Oh, hey. Thanks again for breaking us out of that old No. Oh, yes, you do. Cool. It wouldn't have been so bad in there. It at least had a that. TV. Cap, can you do any special moves yet? Like, I want to see them, like, shoot, um, like a beam or something at his shield. That would be really cool. Oh, it's the piggyback move. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, well. That's still cool. Take that. And that. And for you, I'm gonna beat you up like this. Hey, Cap, he's mine. Boom, boom. Oh, fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks. All right, cool. Let's fly back to Manhattan now. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it because, you know, when I made Gambit and uh, who else was there? Like, there was a few other X-Men characters I made. Uh, Polaris, I think? Yeah. I made them because I was looking at the roster for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1. And with Sentry, I was looking at the roster for LEGO Marvel's Avengers and seeing which characters were in that game that didn't make it into this one. And I thought, I wonder if I can make Sentry. And I made a pretty good looking one, so I had to share it in this video. I mean, I'm quite happy with him. I think he looks pretty cool. It'd be great if, like, in future character creators, we get the ability to do, like, ground pounds and stuff. Because that was something he could do in LEGO Marvel's Avengers. Um, which we couldn't add here. I mean, you could have gave him, like, one of the explosion attacks, but... I just thought they didn't really fit Sentry, so I'm happier with... I'm more that, more happy with the punching, lunging towards, beam, and the bolts. But I guess we'll quickly take care of these bad guys before we wrap up this video. Oh, 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 I should have stayed on that one because it was actually burning them. It's burning this one, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Keep going. I hate these guys. Lumerians are so annoying. That's not doing anything. That's very strange. Go on, Cap. Go on, Cap. Team up, man. Oh, what? What the heck? Thank you, Cap. I'll tell you what. We'll try this. We'll try this. Will it work? Oh, my meter isn't up anymore. That's annoying. Okay, hang on. Yep, that worked. But we've now got... Uh, we've got a full meter, but there's no bad guys. That's kind of annoying, because I wanted to see what Sentry and Hulk could do. But... I guess that's it. Unless someone suddenly appears, that would be really nice before we wrap up this video. Because I want to see what they do. I want to see how it works. No, none there. Any here? No. This is the future. Come on, where's the bad guys? Just one more, one more group of enemies to fight, please. That's all we ask. None here either. Ow, that hurt. Nothing. Come on, where are they? Hey, there we go. I knew one would spawn eventually. Awesome. All right, Hulk and Sentry. Let's see what these guys can do. If some. Oh man. Where's Hulk? Done it. Hulk, 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 Hulk. Hulk. Hulk and Sentry. Come on, do something. Are they not gonna do? Are you kidding me? They don't even do anything. Oh great. Well, that's awesome. Okay, well, what about uh, Captain Marvel and Sentry? Anyone Try that, shall we? Hey, that's cool. That's better than nothing. You had me worried for a minute there. Kind of weird, but still cool. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, you know, I was looking through the roster for LEGO Marvel's Avengers, and this is where I came up with the idea to make Sentry. I might look into it some more and see if there are other cool characters that, uh, you know, I could maybe make in this game. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.